Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Notts are home to Exeter. Yeah, Notts really must win today because it's it's basically now three teams fighting over 22nd place and Football League survival. Notts have taken 10 points from a possible 15 in their last five games against teams in the top 10. However, I've never seen us win against Exeter before. So hopefully that statistic changes today. Come on Notts, come on you pies. Let's do this. Disappointing news. Will Patching is not in the squad. I'm very disappointed in that. <sighs> One day. Anyways, there is but good news, however, as well. Lewis Alessandro and David Ball have both been dropped. Thank goodness, because they played horrific against Morecambe. And in come McCain, Mikel Smith and Jim O'Brien. Please don't be in a boring 0-0, I really can't do with it. On the 31st of March 1894, a Jimmy Logan hat-trick and a goal from Arthur Watson finest. I've got to say how amazing we look in the warm-up. It, it, it looks brilliant. There's a hole in the net. Ish, just over, I've no idea, we've got no scoreboard, we haven't, we haven't had a scoreboard for about 15 years, it feels like. <laughs> it's still 0-0, we've had, we just had a really good opportunity to take the lead, a good ball across by Tootle, but again no one got, uh, got a touch on it, just like the last home game against Morecambe. We're, we're, we're playing some quite neat football, but it's them products again. Cheerio, cheerio. Cheerio, cheerio, cheerio. down to 10. Big opportunity, a massive opportunity to get three points. Go to win it for knots. The only thing we'll win today. Yeah. <laughs> so this one needs to go in the back of the net here. This is to win it. Here we go. Oh, it's a confident strike. It's a great hit. Please give it up for our goalkeepers and our two players taking part this afternoon. Ian Richardson and Simon Corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it, it changed, didn't it? The sending off changed it. I think mean, we played better. We have played well, but we've played better than we have done for a while. Certainly better against than against the likes of Morecambe and Port Vale. We seem to have a, a lot more fluidity. Um, it all goes wrong when we get up front. They, they look terrified. Nobody wants to risk missing. Um, so everyone wants to pass to somebody else instead of having a go. Um, I think Enzio just needs to get the ball and run at people. They've only got 10. 
so if he runs, they can't put two players on him. It's going to leave so much space. Um, but it seems that when the guy got sent off, that turned the pressure a little bit. And all of a sudden, the attitude seemed to be that instead of let's play as well as we can against a playoff team, we've got to win it. And, and it seems to be hesitant. So let's hope that we're having a good half-time team. So I'd quite like to see Cody's come on, give them something else to think about. Let's see where we are. Oh, Christy Pims has been an absolute class save from Matt Tootle. First time we've actually got someone on target. Two seconds, Mikel Smith were queuing up. And it's, a, it's going in as well. It's a brilliant save. the definition of shit out in a one nil away from home. How the fuck how the fuck have we lost that? I've, I've lost me voice. I'm I'm so pissed off. How how have we not scored? You can't have that much of the game in your in, in your hands and lose or even draw. You've got to win. I'm dev I'm devastated and I'm angry at the same time because you know, we, we could, like I said, we controlled so much of the game and lost. But at the same time, I'm really pissed off because we should have scored. My word. Like, that's, that's devastating. Like, I feel gutted. I wouldn't say we dominated the game, but we, we virtually just had the ball inside Exeter's half for all of the second half and again our lack of lack of goal threat has done us in and extra have gone and nicked it in, the, in like literally literally the last kick of the game with like less than 10 seconds to go we have lost it and that that's probably it that is that is such a sucker punch that it might just relegate us. Our lack of our lack of threat in front of goal has let us down. You can't you can't control the game that much and be so you know do so little with the ball in the final third. Yes, we passed it around very nicely. I can't complain that we pa we passed the ball around very well, but it's getting the thing that matters, and that is a goal. 
we had some neat play, but again, we're not we're not threatening enough. And every time the ball came in, it was mo most of the time it was cleared. We had um, two had a good chance. I think it was O'Brien. Hemmings was close, but it was uh, to put him on in. But it was good defending. I've got to say, Troy Brown was really good for Exeter. He had a really good game at centre back. Nicky Law had a good game for Exeter. I can't fault the effort today. The effort was there. Some of the players at the final whistle looked looked gutted that they lost. Tuta was practically in tears. It looked like the players like felt that was a result that was so tough to take, and it was as well for the fans. But when you are in a relegation battle, not just in Ebens, you need to take your chances. Newport stayed up a few years ago and they had and they went for a spell of winning 1-0. They, they won three games in a row, 1-0. And that's the sort of thing that we need. It, do, it doesn't matter how you do it. It just matters if you win. We looked all right at the back. Doyle, I thought, did really well. Tutor was good at right back. Tutor was really good at right back. I'll give him that. He put in a really decent performance. His crossing could have been better, but he he was all right. It's just it's just going forward. Like in the, we get to the final third, and our our decision making is a bit poor, and we just we just can't hit the target. We've got to go for it now. That's it. Just gotta. Go for it in all in these remaining seven games, even if it means like starting four two four all the time, like Ricardo Meniz did. Then so be it. Put four fun. I'm not bothered because we have got to win games now. We seriously have got to win games, and if we're going to break our awful goal scoring record at the minute, then just shove as many shove as many strikers or players as you can up front because we need to score. We need to win games. And that, because that's the only way we're going to survive. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, Toulouse.